This one's a real simple troubleshoot of an electric furnace. And I just thought, well, I'll throw it in there. It should be uh, easy for most guys to find. But we'll see how you do on it. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, I have my ammeter mounted. And I'm going to turn on. I'll get this a little closer to the ammeter. Note I've got all three of the elements uh, that I've got the ammeter around. And they're a little better than 20 amps a piece. So we should have about 65 amps. Okay. Now we've got 45 amps. Okay. That means we probably don't have all the elements working. So, see if we can determine which one's working. Okay, I've clamped one of the elements. It's working, so I don't need to look at it. I clamped another one. We know it's working. I clamped the last one. And I'm showing two amps. Obviously, that one's not working. Okay, so I know which element I'm going to look at. And it turns out to be this one here. So, if I follow this out, that this is going to this contactor right here, that only has one uh, element hooked to it, and the power is going to this element. So. I'm going to see if I can uh, use my meter to troubleshoot this. I'm going to use a voltmeter now. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check to see if there's power. Now, I'm almost certain there is because the fan's running. Okay, I'm going to check up here across this breaker. You'll notice we have 242, so we have power available. I'm going to check across here. I'm reading zero volts. Okay, I'm going to take one wire coming in, and here's the other wire coming in. Okay, 242. I'm going to leave my probe on that same wire, and I'm going to go to here. 242. Then I'm going to leave that probe there, and I'm going to go to here. Zero, two. What's wrong? I think I've given you enough readings so that you should be able to tell which component has failed. Uh, it's, it's really simple. Most of you guys shouldn't have any trouble with it. Uh, and I'll get you an answer about three days after this one hits the uh, YouTube.